Hi folks! Before we begin today's class, let me dispel a rumor that's going around that I do nothing all day and night except make and drink cocktails. That is a blatant half-truth. For like any self-respecting, self-isolating citizen, I'm also watching a lot of television. Why, just last night, I watched this documentary from 1980, a fabulous documentary about these two musicians trying to save an orphanage. There was one scene in it that just brought me to tears. I'm going to show it to you now. Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Three orange whips! Who wants an orange whip? I think the question is who doesn't want an orange whip? You want an orange whip? Come on with me. I'm Bruce Deachman. This is my cocktail camp. <laughs> if you liked creamsicles as a kid, or even as an adult, you're going to love the orange whip. Here are the ingredients. Got a cocktail shaker, start with that. I've taken the liberty of already adding ice. There are three liquors that go in this. The first is vodka, one ounce of vodka. I'm using top shelf vodka because it's great and they're local out in Perth. Uh, you're going to want some rum. I prefer an amber rum like this five year old uh, Flor de Cana. Also one ounce. And then you're going to add half an ounce of an orange liqueur. Uh, I'm using Cointreau, you can use triple sec, um, any orange liqueur will do. Uh, a lot of recipes for this drink don't have this, but I, uh, I like to add it because it ups the orange flavor. So, half an ounce of that. Then, we're going to add four ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. Two ounces of cream. You can use whatever cream you like. I'm using 18% uh, table cream because I'm watching my figure get larger and larger. Um, there, we're going to put the lid on. Give that a good shake till it's really, really cold. And take the lid off. Strain it into a glass with crushed ice. Add one reusable straw and, uh, oh, we need an orange wedge. Cheers. We're on a mission from God. 